Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the next video where I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools upon collecting information into database. So in the previous video you saw how to extract information using passive and active methods. Now in this video I want to basically mention a tool that helps me stay organized and helps me he helps me with that collective of, ma of massive flow of information. So using that, saving anything, you can organize yourself, you can know what is good, what is bad, what's useful, what is not, and therefore build a proper attack vector. So that tool is called Chevy 3 or Keep No, they are quite the same, but Chevy 3 is kind of more like user friendly by my opinion. So uh, sometimes I use Keep No, sometimes I use Chevy 3, they work quite the same way. So uh, open the open browser, sorry, navigate uh, cherry tree, yeah, there is the link. Or you can go to Google and navigate cherry tree, arch, open the link, the first one, and you are here. So click the link right here, save the file, now close that, open terminal, See downwards and now tar xf because we have a xz format and now cherry tree. Okay, now see that directory and we have one file called cherry tree. So if you go to file cherry tree, we get that Python script as text executable. So we can go here and execute that file as a normal script. So cherry tree. And oh, we are inside. So this is the application right here. Uh, so we can modify the colors right here, the themes right here, because as you can see, it's not that much for good looking. Because the backup team is not one of the most uh, prettiest one. So I have changed that, and now here we can just click add node, node name, test node. Now, this is our test node, of course, you should go there and format the cars if you want when you're running backups, when you're running normal distros like uh, Ubuntu and Mint, it's predefined. So, on, on that node, we can add sub nodes, let's say sub1. On that, we can add sub, sub, sub1. So, see, we have different nodes. Here we can basically add sub node, duplicate node, duplicate sorry, change node properties, and many more functionalities. So uh, here is where we store information. So we have test node here. We type let's say this is going to be our uh, let's see let's just delete that. Yes, and now create one new. So add node, and this node is going to be in engagement one. Okay, now on that engagement one, let's add a sub node, and this node is going to be called nmap. Now, here we paste the nmap report. We run the command, paste the file right here, just copy paste. So we have nmap here. Therefore, let's add another sub node, and this is going to be, let's say, discover results now here in that discover results we can paste paste anything that discover has found let's say ips and this most uh, often we are uh, before the dn map so here the first the first part is passive information gathering so here ips range portals and and so on so we have discard information and map therefore we can add sub node and this can be let's say called uh nikto we're gonna get our nikto in a future video so here we get nikto scan here okay then add another node wp scan which use for wordpress wp scan here so you can see that by dividing anything, we can separate our job and separate different results. So whenever we open that engagement one, we see different results like this car results, and map, nick to WP scan, and therefore we use the database in order to create different attack vectors. So this is really important to know and really useful. 
Let's explore different options. Let's say uh, insert the code box. Okay. Now we can add here another information. We can separate that thing. We can just add different code like automatic syntax, uh, C, shell. We can add different language right here. So the code can be executed here. So we can use the code to basically manipulate data and so on. So this will really, be really nice and management. We can insert the image, we can insert table, let's see here. Okay. So yeah, click me and modify the table. We can add the records here, we can insert the table back another one here. Okay. We can insert another one here. Okay. So see we can modify the nodes like a lot. We don't need an anchor. We can just literally insert anything. We can just even export that thing into PDF. We can save that file onto edit. We can go here to see insert image table code box file. We can insert any file we want, links, TLC, change case, cut delete, so on. On file, we have just simple options for new and so on. On three, we have that options to add notes and so on. View, you just see there are many things that you can do. Add tables, attach files, export to PDF, even insert code and execute that code here using different compilers like C, Python and so on. So this tool really helps me out without with any engagement whatsoever. I'm not using that advanced details of, of uh, inputting code, but I am using the tables most of the times because the tables make data work really structured. So when I type here, I often use one huge table and here can be like a WP scan result. Here is like a end map and here is what I want, let's say Nikto. And just I paste the result right here, the table becomes very really big and so when I see the table, I see what information I have inside. So uh, I really recommend to download that to use it. You can download on any Linux distro whatsoever, I think on Windows as well. I highly suggest to download that to try every single option and see how it works for you. Because this is one of the best practice to store everything. Now you know what to do and where to go. You did not know yourself whatsoever. And imagine that you need to break and so on. And by finishing the break, your information is lost in your memory. Here it will stay. So guys, always save your results and I highly suggest to try some software. It really helps whenever we're talking about penetration testing. So thanks for watching guys and I'm gonna see you in the next parts.